Hey everybody, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and we're gonna make something tonight and I hope it turns out because I've never done this before. I just have it up here in my brain and I gotta get it out here. So if you're watching replay, thank you for watching the replay. And um, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. Um, so we're just gonna get started. There's all my people, there's my friends. Hey, hey, Tina. Hey, Sherry. And I'm gonna just go ahead and start prep. I already prepped these two, so I'm gonna prep this other one. Hey, Patty, while we're, everybody's getting on. Hey, Beth from Kentucky and Tracy. Okay, so I wanted to make sure. This is eight by 10 canvases that I'm using from Dollar Tree. Hey, Melanie, hey, Tracy, hey, Sue. How are all of you tonight? How was your Monday? Hey, Dana. Rebecca, all my friends are in the house. Hey, is it Kanetha or Kanetha? Kanetha? Am I saying it? I hate saying people's names wrong. Hey, Kanetha, Kanetha. Hey, Patricia and Daniela. Y'all all showed up. Yeah, Sharon, I can't wait to see what I'm creating either because this is just something that was up here and I got to get it out here. <laughs> so it was like I saw something somewhere and gave me this inspiration. I'm thinking I can make that a bet. So here we are. So it may turn out, it may not. I have a feeling it will, but um, we're going to try. <laughs> so if it does, it's going to be super cute. Thanks, Robin. Hey, Misty. All right, guys, so I'm gonna cut, I'm just cutting the canvas part off. This is an eight by 10 canvas from Dollar Tree, okay? The Crafter Square, eight by 10. I already have two of them that I've taken the canvas off already. I, I was doing that, that's why I was a couple minutes late. I was running around trying to get those two prepped and then it was something I needed. I was going over all my supplies. And I was like, oh gosh, where's that? And I had to dig it out. Hey, Susan, I did have a great day. Hey, Darlene green beans, and canning them. Oh, nice. Somebody's canning them for you. That's really nice. Hey, Robin. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm just taking my X-Acto knife, and I'm going to go around. I know y'all seen me do this before. Oh, hey, Diana. Thank you. Uh, I'm just going around and cutting the canvas, and I'm going to pull the canvas off. Oh, everything turns out great. Yeah, luckily, Debbie, it does, but there are some fails. <laughs> You know, there's some fails along the way, I promise. Um, normally, I don't, if if I think it's going to fail, I don't show it to y'all first. <laughs> Is that funny? But, you know, sometimes I'm just, like, winging it. And this one is a winging it. But I'm, I pretty much go over it in my head of how I think I'm going to execute it and just hope for the best. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but, and I know that y'all wouldn't be too mad at me if it failed. <laughs> then you would know, okay, we're not trying that one. <laughs> oh, Donna. I think it's going to be cute because I, I really, I don't think it's going to be anything that's too difficult, but you're just not going to believe what I'm going to make with this. I saw, um, uh, something similar to this and the way that's just how my brain works sometimes i'll see something hey patricia oh the blue matches my eyes thank you um so i saw a picture of something and just the way that it was made i was like that looks like canvas frames i think i can pull that off so <laughs> you have faith in me <laughs> And if not, we'll just laugh and go, oh, well, that was a fail. <laughs> Thank you, Donna, for sprinkling. Um, but, yeah, so we're going to try to execute this. And I'll tell you all in a second what we're going to make. But now, I will say, you can do this with smaller canvases. So when I started digging out all my stuff this morning, hey, Deborah, it's good to see you, too. Hey, Rena. Um, when I started getting all my stuff out today, my idea was I was going to make this smaller, okay? Um, but I did not have three, I'm going to save that, three uh, canvases that were the same kind 
and like, you know, the, where the frames would all look the same. So that's where I got this big, okay? So you can definitely make this with the smaller canvases from the Dollar Tree. I only had two. I don't know, it was four by six, mate. I don't know what the next size, five by seven. Um, so I, <laughs> wow, Jackie, yes. I, I try not to look at that number up there at the top. Because, you know, it doesn't matter to me if it's eight of y'all or if it's 800. It's fine with me because I'm going to craft anyway. But it does. It humbles me. And excuse me, but I'm going to just pound the staples down because some of them are raised. If you want to pull them all out, by all means, pull them all out. But I'm just going to pound them down a little bit because once we... Uh, paint it and all that. You're not gonna be able to see it. Hey, Debbie from Michigan. Hey, Betty. Oh, Betty's a newbie. Welcome, Betty. We're glad to have you here. Um, I come on Monday nights at 7:30 Central and Friday. A uh, Friday. That's old habit. Thursdays at um 7:30. So you're welcome to come back. Hey, hey, Patty. Thank you. Hey, Deborah. Okay. So I've got my canvas off now. I have three. But I'm gonna, I already kind of sanded those down. I'm just gonna kind of take my little sanding sponge and just smooth it a little bit because sometimes some of them are rough. So we gotta make it a look. Uh, Tina, you can text join to that number and it will send you a little message and you'll be on my list. And I text before I go live, I almost forgot because like I said, I was trying to prep a little bit of this. Because today, I cut pumpkins all day, and I totally forgot to, like, prep a little bit. I got everything out, and I came out here a little bit ago, and I was like, oh, mercy, I forgot. <laughs> hey, Nancy from Massachusetts. Oh, thank you, Kathy. So, I'm just kind of sanding it just a little. Because y'all know sometimes they're kind of scratchy, rough kind of scratchy. And then when you sand this side with the staples, it'll get some of that that leftover canvas off of there too, so that helps. But you can pull the staples out, but I will say that some of the staples hold on, hold the pieces together. I know y'all can't see that. See that right there? They hold it, the pieces together, so I, I'm i kind of scared about taking them, taking them um, out, because I'm scared it will come, fall apart. Jessup, Iowa, oh, you're so sweet. Took your dog in a stroller a ride and you had fun. <laughs> that is funny. Dog. I see a lot of people with dogs in strollers. Uh, Mary, I'm about to tell you what I'm making. We are going to make a little wagon, cart little wagon thing with these, okay? So, I think the easiest way to do this would be to put it together first and then I'm going to paint it or stain it. Or whatever. So, we're going to make a little cart with wheels and all that stuff. Because we're going to put our little pumpkins and flowers and stuff all in there. Um, yes, Melanie, the pumpkin sold out in like 20 minutes. And guys, it was several hundred sets. And I was just like floored. Because I was like, oh my gosh. I, I could not believe that they sold out that fast. Um, but I'm cutting more. So, there's more coming. So, don't worry. And it's like... <laughs> It's overwhelming because it's like I can't put anything else out new because I'm cutting those. But at the same time, I want all of you to get what you want. So, okay. So, when I had this in my mind about what I was going to do. Um, hey, Terry. Hey, Karen. She's a newbie from Michigan. Welcome. Hope you come back and hope you enjoy this. Um, anyway, so when I was thinking about this. Oh, I thought I was missing one. I was thinking, okay, so... What can I use for wheels? All right. So I just basically, my hair's doing something funny. I was basically just thinking of what I have that I can use. Okay. Because I didn't want to have to go to the uh, Dollar Tree. Um, Peg, you hadn't missed anything. I just took off the canvases off of three Dollar Tree. Eight by ten is what I'm using. But you can use the five by sevens. I just had. I just had three of the same size in this size. So, you can do this smaller, okay? Um, so, I was thinking, what can I use for wheels? And I didn't want to have to go make a trip to the Dollar Tree and have to think about what I was going to do. So, I started thinking about round stuff that I have in my stash. 
because you know I'm all about use what you have. Use milk jug tops, whatever, Gatorade tops, whatever, for wheels or do whatever. Um, so I found these in my craft stash. And yes, they have a hole because they're they're for ornaments. But I really wasn't happy when I when they came like two Christmases ago because they have a hole in them. But the hole is like way down here. So I really wasn't happy. So they're just sitting in my stash. They came from Amazon. They came in a little bag like this. So they've been sitting in my stash and I've not even used them. Um, so they have a little hole there. So these are going to be my wheels. <laughs> Cause I was thinking it's gonna be rustic anyway. So that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna use these. We're going to use these, and I'm going to use some of the, the Super Jumbo craft sticks from Walmart. These are the Super Jumbo. Um, hey, Rita. And I'm going to use some of the big Jingle Blocks. I get these from Five Below. You can get them at Walmart, Dollar General, Family Dollar. Um, five Below, they're five bucks for the whole pack of however, 48 or however many is in there. And I might end up using some little ones. So, I'm going to try to put this together. Um, I know, Alice, I can't wait to see what it is either. Let's see. To see how I'm going to do this. I'm trying to think. Should I put the bottom on first? Yes, I think I'm going to put my... I'm going to take one of these. Put the other two to the side. And I'm going to make the bottom of our wagon. Here comes the Flintstones. You, you laughing at my wheels, Rexanne? <laughs> <laughs> you laughing at my wheels. So these craft sticks are just the perfect size to go from one end to the other. So I was like, yes, I don't have to cut them. I don't have to split. You know, that sometimes they'll split and you have all that problem. So Flintstones wagon, y'all are laughing at my wheels. <laughs> I didn't want to have to go buy four Gator Gatorades and drink four Gatorades to get four Gatorade tops or whatever. Um... I got the scissors made now for the farmhouse chair tray. No, Diana, there's not a video, but you can go to the website and you can look at, you can look at my wheel of my chair is on my glue gun cord and look at the picture and just kind of see, but I did use scrapbook paper and I paint, I painted that set. Uh, got to get used to the new name, new name. Okay. So I'm going to just glue across and y'all seen me do this before. But I think I'm going to lay them out so I'll know how to space them first. Um, but they fit perfect across here. They're the super, let me just tear the tag off. Super Jumbo Craft Sticks from Walmart. And this is an 8 by 10 frame. So if you do the smaller, uh, a smaller one, like a 5 by 7 um, that's, you have to cut your sticks probably. You love the wheels. Tess is, Tess is on team wheel of my wood round wheels. <laughs> Lisa, I am going to make a little, like a little wood wagon kind of cart kind of thing um, out of Dollar Tree canvas frames. So that's, that's what I'm doing. I saw a little wagon somewhere. I don't know where, I don't even know where it was. It was, um, and it had like a round and then it had a round and then it had, you know, like a frame and then a frame and then a frame. And I thought, that looks like Dollar Tree canvases. I think I could make that. So, this is how this was come about. Okay. But you can put, like, uh, pumpkins in this and all your fall florals or something. That's kind of where I was going with it. All right. So, I got them kind of spaced how I want them. Because I don't want to start at one end and get down to the end and it be all weird. So, I'm just going to kind of do that. So I don't have to cut them. So I was excited, but I was, I was, um, I wanted to make it smaller. That was my whole intention in the beginning. And I dug and dug and dug and I could not find, um, three of the five by seven canvases. I had two and I couldn't find it. So that's how I got, I went bigger. <laughs> Oh, you've seen some on TikToks and other crafting sites? Now, I've seen the wagon done with the brownie pan. Now, this, I've seen that one, but I haven't seen this one. Patty, yes, I'm going to make more ho-ho sets. I sure am. Are there not any on the site? You know, I hadn't even had time to look, to be honest. Now, if you wanted to um, skip this part entirely, 
I have another option. Just get you the, the 8 by 10 other kind of canvas that Dollar Tree carries. Glue that thing right on there, okay? But I wanted it to be all wood. I wanted it to look um, kind of rustic. So if you already have one of those and you want to do that and don't have the craft sticks, then you don't have to buy anything. So you could definitely do that. Where do I buy the long glue sticks? Uh, there are Gorilla Glue. I get these at Walmart. Gorilla Glue sticks. And yes, they are a little more expensive, but uh, you need this glue gun? Look at that. <laughs> um, I just put a new one in today, so that's why it's so long. It's a brand new one. Because it was acting crazy again, y'all. My glue gun is acting up. It's going to force me to have to go buy that Ryobi, Ryobi one. Okay. But yes, if you if you get on my text thing, I always uh, let everybody know when I'm going to restock everything. Now, it's not, it wasn't all the way in there. That's why I was having a problem. Um, I, I'll give you an alert. I didn't do it the other night because I was live and y'all were on here and that's how the pumpkins kind of went about. But Oh, you made the little red wagon. See, I've seen that wagon. But this one I haven't seen. It just kind of, I saw a picture and said, oh, I can make that kind of deal. Hey, Carmen. And there were some, ho yeah, okay, good. There are some ho-ho sets. Thank you, Lori. I thought there were because I knew how many I put up the other night when the pumpkins went up. And I knew that I had, I didn't pack that many. So, <laughs> I still have some over there in a bin. Flint, y'all call my Flintstone wagon. <laughs> they had stone wheels. <laughs> y'all don't laugh at my Flintstone wagon. Y'all are so funny. So, yeah, so maybe there are ho-hos there. Hey, Jennifer. So, yes, all the pumpkins have been taken to the post office. So, they're all on their way to your house. And I'm cutting more and more and more. My husband came in. He's been gone on a, on a guy's trip to the beach this weekend. He came in and he went, oh, my gosh, at the pumpkins. They're just laid all over my table over here ready to be wrapped. And he was like, geez. I was like, I know. Okay. So here is, um, my little, the base. This is going to be the bottom one. Okay. And then we've got to space the, this is going to be the tricky part because I don't want it right on top. Okay. I'm going to space it out. So our wagon is going to be like this. Does that make sense? I can't hold it up and do it because I can't space them out. So our wagon's going to be, it's going to look like that. You're going to be able to see through it. So I'm not going to just stack them like that, which you could. Um, so that's what, now this is the part that's going to be hard. So I thought it through though, so hopefully it'll work. Hey Mary from Kansas. Y'all getting any of that rain from that storm? Okay, so these are the big Jenga's. I tried my best to make these work, and I couldn't. I laid it out and was thinking of how to do it, and I just couldn't do it. Um, just got your text. Oh, gosh, Crystal, I sent that whew, 20 minutes ago. Wow, I just now got here. Hmm. Okay. So, I think my thinking was in the beginning is I was going to put them on the outside like this and glue it like this but then i was thinking no these are too fat and thick but the little ones won't work and i tried gluing two together thinking that would work and i was like trying to make the space look right and it just wouldn't look right okay so i think this is the part i gotta think about how i'm gonna make this happen so i think i'm gonna put like I said, I'm in uncharted territory. We're just, we're building tonight, and I don't know. Got to see how this is going to go. Okay, I think I can make this work. Well, maybe if I do it this way, and I'm going to put one here. Y'all forgive me, I'm trying to, I'm just thinking out loud to myself. Okay. Yeah, I've seen people do the brownie pan, like the little red wagon. And I have a little red wagon that's about that big, and it's a real radio flyer and radio flyer. And I was like, uh, I don't need to make one. Okay, I think this is how it's gonna fly right here. 
So now I gotta figure out what's the best way to execute it. Hey Mary from Mississippi, I'm from Mississippi too. So I'm thinking, hmm, okay. A guy's trip to the beach. Yep, he went to it on a guy's trip to the beach. They go every year, and this was this was the weekend, and he just got back. Yeah, it's raining in Virginia. I bet it is. Um, so yeah, this is the part I gotta think about because I won't. I don't want my Jenga block to stick out. So okay, I think this is how I'm gonna do it. Can you lay them in the corners? Yeah, I was thinking okay so i'm gonna turn them um, like not the lot fat way frontwards but to the end does that make sense like that and y'all see that's how i'm gonna do it and i think i'm gonna glue them in the bottom first and then i'm gonna put this one on maybe i hope okay Little box in one corner would work. We're getting rain and wind. Oh, goodness. All right. Hold on. <laughs> Use the jingle box as spacers. Yeah, I'll make him do that. Okay, I might do it this way. Let's see. We're going to figure it out, I promise. Hey, Debbie. All right, so y'all can kind of see that way. All right, so maybe... If I get, once I get the first one locked in, I think I'm good. All right. I just got to get them even. That's going to be the fun part. But it's going to come together. I just have to have a... Uh, since I've never done this, I'm having to figure it out, guys. So, give me a second. I think I'm going to do it this, just like that. And I'm going to glue it just like that. So I got them spaced out. I know they aren't even down here, but they're even on my end. The one I'm gonna glue. Okay, hey, hey Kathy. Okay, so here we go. Now if my glue gun will just work for me, we'll be good. So far, so good. Put Jingle Block. Y'all trying to, your best to help me. Are y'all helping me through the screen? <laughs> and then do the middle. Glue Jingle Blocks to the top frame. Then set onto bottom. Look at y'all. See, y'all got it all figured out too. Y'all helping me. And of course, glue oozed everywhere, but I'm okay. Yeah, I was just checking the spacing because I want to be sure to get it spaced right because once it's stuck, it's stuck, guys. <laughs> Use a small block for a spacer. Yeah, let's check that. Well, it won't fit in there on that one. Okay. I got glue everywhere, oozing out, because I wanted to put a lot, because I wanted it to hold. I'm just going to wipe it off. All right. So now... There's that one. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to have to turn it this way to do this. All right. So now I'm going to glue this side. We're going to make it work. It's not going to be a fail. It may not be perfect. Hey, Diane. Hey, Patsy. Okay. All right, I got two locked in. We're good. Yeah, it'll be okay. I'm just going for it, Susan. That's right. We're just doing it. Well, the space was a little bigger than that. And then this one's... I ain't got it exactly even, but it's okay. Because, see, I got one wider than the other, but we're going to be okay. See? There's that. Looks like a little crate, doesn't it? See, now this one is lopsided, but I'm okay with it, y'all. It don't have to be perfect. 
Yeah, the wood, I got wood cubes because we're going to use them for something else. Um, maybe. Look at there. I have a troll. Okay, well, y'all just ignore the troll. They'll, they'll be on their way. They just want to pop on and do their thing and they'll go away. Look at there. Look at my spacers. Works. Oh, Tina, you got to get up early. You can always catch the replay. You'll be good. Night. <laughs> okay. So, I basically have a crate. All right. So, let's put these. I may have to. So, it's going that way. Okay. Let me open it. All my spacers are going to fall out, but oh well. I got to turn it this way, though. Because my glue runs down if I don't. So I got to turn it. We are constructing a cart. I'm trying to hold that straight where it doesn't look slanted. Hey, Angela, I'm good. Oh, they're the jumbo craft sticks on the bottom if somebody's asking. Sherry, I can. Thank you for telling me that because I can heat it up with my heat gun and pop them right back off. Old wagons are not perfect. Thank you, Karen. And they have Flintstone wheels. Y'all laughing at my wheels. <laughs> yes, Karen, I am an eyeballer all day long. Um, my husband, it drives him crazy too because he wants to measure everything. Okay, so y'all are seeing how I'm doing this. I got that one laying flat. And I'll show you why I'm doing it. I, turn, I decided to turn them that way in just a second. So I'm doing them flat against the ends instead of the front. I'm having to put glue on both sides where this block's going to be. But, um, because I'm going to turn some other ones the other way around the front. Flintstone wagons are wonky. That's right. I know, it looks like a little crate. You could even do one more and have you a little crate. It would be so cute. The MacGyver of Craft Dana. <laughs> Lindy calls me the Opa, Opa, Oprah of Crafting, and I'm like, no. Now Dana's calling me the MacGyver. That's right. Give me a glue gun. I'd fix anything. Thank you, Terry. You're so sweet. Okay. All right. So here is my base of my wagon. Look at it. It looks like a little crate. And it is. One side is a little bit. This side is the side that's going down, which I'm not too... Uh, it doesn't matter to me. It'll be fine. Yes, I'm an eyeballer, too. I think it's a man thing. They want to measure everything. And my husband works. He's an airplane mechanic. And he works in, like, thousands of inches. And he starts talking about point three five six seven, And I'm like, honey, just do it. <laughs> he's like, it's got to be right. And I'm like, okay. Just all confuses me. Now I'm trying to get all these. Hot glue strings are killing me. I'm not gonna get it too hot though. <laughs> I just gotta get these strings out, out of here. Everywhere. From the bottom where we did the bottom and be gone, be gone. Okay. You're the Oprah of crafting. I am not, Kelly. <laughs> I am not. But I saw a little wagon somewhere and it had it had it looked just like this, but it was smaller, but it was like a store-bought one. I don't even remember where I saw it. Somewhere on the internet somewhere. And I said, oh, I can do that with Dollar Tree crates. Okay, so there we go. So now I'm going to take another one. And see, I wanted to face this one in the middle, like in the front, like this, because it looks like a wagon. So I didn't want to face these that way. That's right, Kaylee. My, my, my dad was the same way, and my husband's that way. And y'all know I cheat. Let me show you. I cheat with my lines on my tablecloth. It's wonderful. So I, if I'm trying to get this in the middle of this thing, I'm, a, I'm putting it on these lines right here. And then I can find the middle just like lickety split. Don't have to measure. Work smarter, not harder, right? <laughs> Please tell the airline mechanic. He does. He works for FedEx, so it's, you know... But he still has to get it right. <laughs> okay. 
So that helps me get it centered. So yeah, I cheat with my tablecloth. <laughs> Cause it's got lines on it. Why not? Make it work for you. Oh really, Becky? That's cool. All right, so here's my, there's my center one. See, I just put it down in there. Now, if you use the smaller canvases, I bet you can use the little bitty these. But see, they just they just wasn't tall enough. I'm gonna show you. They weren't tall enough. They weren't tall enough. And if I did two, I felt like the spaces were gonna be too much. So that's where I was torn on how to do that. Okay. So now I just gotta put one more over here. And I gotta cheat again. You use my tablecloth as my as my ruler works really good work smarter not harder make it easy for yourself all right i use eight by ten frames from the dollar tree just the little crafter square eight by tens took the canvas off and then i use jumbo craft sticks from walmart super jumbo <laughs> Lorraine, he has to draw you a picture too? Wow. <laughs> I think it's a man thing. Yes, this tablecloth stuff is from Walmart. And you go back in the craft section and the fabrics. And it's on those big, long bolt rolls things. And I get a, two yards. And it'll cover my table twice. So, like, when this one gets dirty, I'll flip it around this way. So, my dirty side's over there. And then I use this side a while, and then when it gets beyond recognition, I'll change it and use a new piece. Uh, the Jenga blocks are, these are from Five Below. That's where I buy them. You can get them at Dollar General or Family Dollar or Walmart. They're not really expensive. Okay, so here is my cart. So we got to put wheels on it. So this is going to be the fun part. <laughs> hey, Cynthia. Um... Okay, so this is going to be the fun part only because I've got to get them even. So see, my wheels are not going to be that bad. I just didn't have anything else that looked like wheels. And I just didn't want to guzzle down four Gatorades or even go to the store to get Gatorade. <laughs> so that's going to be my wheels. And I think that's going to be a little high. That's going to be my wheels. <laughs> Okay, so I got to make, this is going to be the fun part because I've got to make sure it's going to sit level. Even though it's level up here because they're not exactly round. Okay, so this is what's going to be fun. I don't want them up too high though. I don't want it to look funny. Okay. All right, so I think that's, that don't even look right. Hold on. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this, y'all? You love how you think of her when I say shims. You think of me. Okay, so let's see. I'm trying to get them fixed, y'all. Hold on. Because I'm trying to rest them on the table. I still got a spacer in there, Lord. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Okay. Because I don't want it to be unlevel. Okay, I think we're good. Don't fall. Yeah, it's gonna be so cute. We're gonna put a handle on it. So I'm just gonna do that right there and I hope that it's gonna be level. Hope and pray it's not sitting all catawampus-like. <laughs> so I'm just lifting them up where they are and just shooting some glue in there and hope that It's going to sit straight. <laughs> yeah, jar lids would work too. I just, I couldn't find anything, y'all. I could not find anything. So, these are my wheels. <laughs> Don't be jealous of my wheels. <laughs> so, use what you have. Don't even, you know, look around, see what you have. Don't think that you got to run out and buy something or go to Amazon or something like that. Use what you have. 
This is tricky. About time I get it straight, I'll let go and it's, and then I'll move it again. Okay. So I just kind of holding it and um, trying to get it level. Y'all know what I'm trying to do, right? Glue Jenga blocks to the back and the bottom of the cart. All right, let's see. it looks level yeah I could put it yeah I'll have to test I'll have to put a little piece of something under there if it doesn't want to sit right yes Margaret they're wood slices I got off Amazon they are they were ornaments for Christmas like I got a year ago or something and they had holes in them but the holes are like way down here and it was like you couldn't put anything a lot down here because the holes were so far down so I didn't really like them. I never used them and I've never used them for anything until tonight. And they came in this cute little bag, all these little slices. And I had to find four that were kind of the same size and round. Okay. Donna, if you not never heard that. Okay. So, so far, yeah, it's, it's good. I mean, it's a little bit, but nothing I won't worry about. Okay. So now we got to make a little something. You know, the little pull thing. What's it called? The handle or whatever. So, I've got these little blocks that we all buy from Dollar Tree. And we have no idea why we need them. But, here you go. I've used them for several things, though. So, you know, it's like, oh, I need those. But, I don't know why. But, I'm going to get them. <laughs> um, so, anyway. So, there's our little. This was Dollar Tree canvases just a few minutes ago. <laughs> okay. So I've got one of the dowels from Dollar Tree out of their little pack. And so I'm thinking here, like this. I'm, I'm gonna glue like two of these here. Let me turn it around where y'all can see. I'm gonna glue like two of these here and then put my little handle like that. Um, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. See, it is a little bit, you know, it's not 100%, but you know, my wheels are not, uh, they're Flintstone wheels, so. <laughs> I'm laughing at my Flintstone wheels. Okay, I'm using my tablecloth, I'm cheating again. So I can, I can look straight down at this stripe on my tablecloth, and I know that it's gonna be in somewhat in the center. <laughs> Y'all like my air quotes, in the center. So that's what I tell my husband, I'm like, honey, just go take this piece of wood and just cut it in half. And he's like, he gets out the tape measure and he's got a pencil. And I'm like, no, honey, just go whack it in half. He's like, no, if you want it in half, I'm going to measure it right. So I'm like, okay. So I'm thinking. I'm determined, y'all. Can y'all tell I'm determined? I'm going to make this work. Dowel is too thin for that wagon. You think so? All right, you're gonna make me dig out my stuff. Hold on. Are they in here? Y'all wanna make me dig this out? Oh, I got it's that size. Hold on. I got that. That? That's too long. I'm gonna make me saw. A spatula handle. Yes, I've seen that on the little wood, the little thing. Oh, tear tray. Yeah, that would be cool, tear tray. Okay, y'all gonna make me get out my little saw. Y'all just wanna see me saw. So, see, that's gonna be too long, this dowel. Is that better? Okay, so there's my handle. Should I let it go down or should I make it stand up? All right. So maybe if I, I cut it off, where should I cut it off? Okay. It's too small. Okay. I got the big one. Glue it together and attach it as one piece. Vicki, thank you. See, I need y'all. I need all of y'all to help me. Y'all help me. 
like your wagon. First one saw made like that. Okay, so I'm trying to decide up here. It's, I got this wood dowel, let's see. A paint stick, yeah, I got paint sticks. I don't know if that would, I don't know. The fat one. <laughs> Dominica, then you mean the, the, the saw me and Lindy did that wouldn't go shh, 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 shh. Yeah, it only went shh. <laughs> okay, cut it in half. So about here. I hope I can cut this thing, y'all. This saw, I hadn't used it in forever. This is from Dollar Tree, by the way. And it works. I've already been through one saw. I think I broke it on a live one time, actually. But it does work. So I'm just kind of cutting around and around to get it to, to work. Don't make me work up a sweat. Look at there. Pop. See? Dollar Tree. Get you one. Works. Next time you see them, get one. Okay. So now, so somebody said I need to glue this together first. If I don't glue it to the table. Y'all know I'm going to glue it to the table. Jingle block. Yes, for the handle. Yes, yes, that will work. Okay, so glue it together first. That was a smart idea because I was totally going to glue it all together at one time. All right, so let me put some glue here. And let me put some glue on this one, on my little blocks. This is like challenging me to the limit tonight. Okay, now I'm gonna sit here and hold it like this. <laughs> Susan, yes, Mr. Taterbug saw it. The teeth only went one way, so you couldn't go this way. You couldn't go shh, 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 sh it just went shh. Yeah, cross piece for the handle. Like this? Y'all think the little bitty jingle blocks would work? Naturally, it falls down. I know. So, but I don't know. Yeah, I need to buy Lindy a, a saw. <laughs> Rhonda, I'll have to buy her a saw. I'm going to buy her a saw. But actually, I think Lindy and I are going to run up to Dollar Tree like real quick in the morning. Um, because we were told they're putting all their fall stuff out and their Halloween stuff out at the big, at our big Dollar Tree. So I think she and I are going to escape for an hour or two. <laughs> Lisa, y'all know I'm going to glue it to the table. I need to have my mat out here that Kaylee brought, bought me. And I'm just reinforcing it on the back. But that's how, that's what I have so far. So I think that little handle will look good, don't y'all? Let's see. Like this, I think that handle will look good. I think the big jingle blocks would look, I think that's gonna look too, too chunky like that. I think that's too big. Ouch. Okay. All right. Where's Lindy at? Is she on here? <laughs> yeah, she she watches my cart when I go because she knows I um she knows that I'll leave my cart and pick up the wrong cart because I've done that before. And then she almost did it one time we were in there. <laughs> Judy, your sides were hurting. Ours were too. I promise. Because he he told us right before we went live, he's like, "Here's this little saw, and you might can use it." Well, we started. He goes, you can just go shh, shh, shh with it. And we were like, okay. Well, our little shh, shh wouldn't shh, shh, shh. It just went shh. That was it. It wouldn't come back. It would just go forward or whatever, whatever way. Okay, there's my little handle. And this little dowel is already kind of brown anyway. All right, so here's my Dollar Tree canvas turned into a wagon. All right. So... Now I gotta get this centered. So y'all, let me cheat one more time. I'm telling y'all these lines on the tablecloth, that's the ticket, I'm telling you, it's awesome. It's Cause I don't have to guess where the center is. I can just look at my stripes on my table. See, I've done told y'all the secret now. It's like the secret's out and y'all know my secret, but I am a big eyeballer. All right, and I'm gonna put glue. 
And I'm really gonna have to hold this on here good. Okay. <laughs> hey, Beth. She said, hey, y'all. She must be from the South, like me. Pattern for the corn. Corn, I don't know what corn she is talking about. Anybody know what Rose is meaning with the corn? Okay. Ta-da! Look at that wagon. Y'all, it's a wagon. I made a whole wagon. Look at it. How stinking cute. Da -da -da. Put bottom on the frame. Anyway, I don't know what that meant either. A good crafter shares your secret. That's right. I wouldn't be on here if I didn't want to teach y'all something, right? Show you all my little tricks. So, do y'all think it needs one of those in the back like that? A little brace in the back to make it look even? Because I got them on the front. I mean, on the sides. Y'all think it needs one there? Brooke, I am in Hernando, Mississippi. Oh, the candy corn. Uh, oh, yeah. Candy corn. Um, it's in the group. But if you will message me when we get off, I'll send it to you because it's probably so far down in the group that you can't find it. Gnomes would look awesome pulling it. Look at y'all. Y'all have got a whole little town going on with this wagon. Flintstones and gnomes. <laughs> Beth, I was born in Meridian too. That's where I was raised. And then my brother lives down there in Gulfport. So, <laughs> so crazy. I think I'm going to put... Yeah, maybe the pattern for the candy corn. Yep. A twig would make a good handle. It sure would. That would look really cute. Okay. So, I'm using my lines again. I'm cheating. Well, it's not... I wouldn't say it's called cheating. It's just really... It's, it's being helpful. If you brace the back, brace the front. Okay. No, the ends look good. Not in the back. Save the space in your wagon for your decor. Okay, so no brace. So I saw several no's. So, yeah, this is so cute. But like I said, you can use your wheels, whatever you have. I just use what I had. So, you know, jar jar lids or whatever. And if you want to use the smaller canvases, this is 8 by 10 If you want to use the smaller canvases, by all means, you know, use your, um, use the smaller ones. Now, I'm going to paint mine brown. Just because I want it to be rustic and I want it to look uh, harvest kind of looking. So, um, that's what I'm going to paint mine. <laughs> now, Angela's like, I got to get a wagon. Got to make a wagon. So, I got my, my burnt umber. Okay. And I'm going to put a little drop of black in there. Linda, you're in Horn Lake. You're very close to me. Like, in the same county. You're in the same county as me. So you're very close. Okay, so I just put a little bit of black in my brown. And now we're just going to talk and we're going to paint. I'm going to put um, pumpkins and some florals and stuff in here. That's what I'm going to put in here. Dad was born and raised in Mississippi. Wow, there's a bunch of people from Mississippi. All right, so I've got my water, just putting a little water on my plate, and I'm gonna mix up my black and my brown together. I just, that black just gives it a little bit of a deeper tone. We're gonna see. And you could leave it like this, and it would look super cute. It's whatever you wanna do. Whatever suits your fancy. Turquoise and add rust. That would look cute. I'm just gonna go with some brown. Hubcaps. Kaylee, I know. I've Look, I've already beat you to it, sister. I've got my half wood beads out here. We might have to have some hubcaps. See how pretty this is? It, that, it gives that burnt umber just a little bit of dark, I don't know, a dark undertone to it where it's not as red almost like a walnut. Yes, I'm being resourceful. Nancy lives in Cenotopia. You're 15 minutes from my house. 
You're not far at all. So we're just gonna paint, and it's gonna take me a little while to get this thing painted. Yeah, you can use buttons for wheels. Yes, if, if you wanna use the smaller canvas, you can use Gatorade lids, paint them. I mean, use what you have, jar lids, anything like that. Because I know if you're a crafter like me, then you save a bunch of stuff. Like, I might need that. Yes, this would be a cute centerpiece on a table. That's what Jennifer just said. Like a, um, and put a bunch of florals. Y'all wait till we fill it up and see how cute it's going to be. Y'all going to be digging through your stash tonight going, oh, I know I got some canvases. And this is something in my area that Dollar Tree has a lot of here lately. They've had a lot of canvases. Yeah, it's, it's probably, it's not made for outside, I would say, just because of the hot glue and all that stuff. But for a table or an entryway table or your, your hearth on your fireplace, this would be super cute. And you could make it smaller and make it and put it on your tiered tray. How cute would that be? All right, get the underside. Look how pretty. See the brown? And see the wheels are going to kind of contrast. You're going to paint yours distressed red. That's going to look super cute. Any color would be really cute. You could even just do it this technique and kind of stain it. But I was kind of going for the rustic looking, um, harvesty kind of thing. <laughs> All right. But natural would be cute too if you just left it. Or you could paint it white and then accent with like dark brown like this would be really pretty. You could do all sorts of stuff. Ooh. I might leave that handle and all just like it is. I might not even paint that. Absolutely love it. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you. I, I'm just glad it came out. I was worried that it wasn't, I was a little worried. I wasn't a whole lot worried because I knew that I could just, I could do it. It's just making sure to space those canvases out was the hard part, but I figured it out. We got it to work. Where's my fancy paint jar? Oh, this is my ugly one, right? Um, it's over here dismantled because it comes apart and I take it apart to dry and I hadn't assembled it back and it was just easier to grab my jar yeah this would be good for anything can't y'all see this filled with some christmas ornaments or a little santa claus or a snowman um this would be super cute for any time let's see and this would be cute if you made on made, made several and gave to people and had like a little had like gifts and stuff in it but look how pretty that brown is Turn it so y'all can see that side. Isn't that pretty? Let's see. But I have seen the brownie pan ones. Um, a friend sent me, actually tagged me in something and said, oh, you need to make this. Um, but what I saw was like a, a little rustic wagon, like a pumpkin wagon or something. And then I just kind of said I can do that with frames. I've made so much stuff from these frames. Yeah, Christmas decor, absolutely. S little snowman in the back, oh, cute. Now I gotta paint this whole little deal. It's not bad with this watery paint though. It kinda spreads itself out pretty good. So it's not too bad, it's like stain. But those natural wheels, I think I'm going to leave this up here natural. It's going to be cute. Thank y'all for sprinkling. Little hay bales and apples. Oh my gosh, yes. The cuteness. The cuteness. How cute would that be? I've seen the little brownie pan ones, and I don't think they look that bad. They're really cute. I just, I just thought a lot of people had done it, and I was like, well... I really don't want to, you know, do something that's been done so many times, but they are cute. But plus you have to spray paint and 
Y'all know I ain't gonna be spray painting up in here, even though I love to spray paint. If something sits still long enough, I'll spray paint it. All right. So it's so cute. One more side. Yeah, spring flowers, yes. You could paint this white and it would be cute for Christmas. It would be cute for um, spring. It'd be cute for any time, really. I'll be here all night painting this thing. But y'all see why I said it was probably easier to paint ahead of time? I mean, paint after just because then you're not having to paint each little individual piece and that might take... What did I make the bottom with? I did the jumbo craft sticks and they fit perfectly across there. They're, they're super jumbo, I'm sorry, from Walmart. That's what I used. Yes, little hay bales. Oh yes, I can see it. See, that was my vision. That's kind of what I was going for. Cause y'all know I'm gonna break out my hula skirt in a minute and put some hay down in here. <laughs> What's left of my hula skirt. Hey Loretta. You're, you're okay. We made this cute wagon out of Dollar Tree canvas frames. Just throw a bunch of waffle. Yes, I am. I'm just going to throw some of that hula skirt stuff down in there and put some pumpkins in it. And it's going to be adorable. I think so. And it cost me what? Let's say $3 in canvases. Potted plants. Yes. Um... Potted plants. Uh, let's see. It cost me $3 in canvases. And then this whole pack of craft sticks, which I didn't even use, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. About 9 of them. And that wasn't even a dollar because I had those. And then my little wheels, which I had those. But so not very much at all. A hay wagon. Yes. I'm getting there, y'all. <laughs> and this is the, the boring part, waiting for the paint to get painted on. But I'm getting there. The bottom will be quick. But don't y'all like that brown? It has just a, just a titch of black in it. Not much. I'm gonna put, oh, I gotta get some more paint. Just a little bit of black. And the big ooky stuff wants to come out. <laughs> BJ, you see me dancing around with my hula skirt on? Oh, Lord. That ain't happening. Plus, half of my hula skirt's gone. Um. Okay. So, y'all, my, my son went back to school... Uh, Thursday was a week that they've put in. No. Yes. So they, thir this past Thursday was a week they've been in school. And starting tomorrow, we are virtual. Because they have a bunch of COVID cases at his school, at the high school. So, yeah, we're starting virtual for the next, this week and then all of next week. And then they will determine at that time what they're going to do from there. So I was like, ugh. I used the dowel for the handle and the little block, the little gla oh, glass, the little uh, square blocks from Dollar Tree. And then this is a little Jenga block. And this front, oh, there's somebody's explaining. I was like, what are they talking about? And they're explaining to somebody how I did it. It's three canvas frames. And then I used the big Jenga blocks to support it on all the corners on the inside. And made kind of like a little crate. And now we're painting our little crate. How did I miss the whole back? What happened? I missed the whole back. You go back Wednesday. Well, I hope y'all have better luck than we did. We, like I said, they hadn't even been in two weeks yet and we're already going virtual. So it kind of stinks. Yeah, it's not what you want for anybody, but... You know, I hate it for the seniors, and he's only in 10th grade, but still, I just hate it all around. I hate there's people that's sick. So, all right, I'm getting there. 
I don't know how I didn't do the back. All right, see, it's all brown. My little hay wagon, Flintstone wagon. Now y'all like the wheels, right? You like my wheels because they match because it's, uh, it's rustic. <laughs> hey, Diane. Yeah, oh no, not this again. That's what I said. I was like, oh, geez, wheeze. I thought we were getting better and we're not. Oh, he was near somebody that had COVID. See, that's the that's our problem is that we got people with it. And then we have people that are quarantined out because they were by somebody that has it. And it's, but they said our state is, um, yeah, Stacy, that's my thing too, is that it's seniors and stuff and they can't get the full experience and have a normal graduation, a normal senior year kind of thing. Like my son graduated college um, and he's, he had to do it virtual. I didn't even, he didn't get to walk or anything and I was so upset about it, but it is what it is and life goes on, but I just, I hate it and I hate it for all the people that are sick. But our state's numbers are really, really high right now. I think they said the other day that there was only six ICU beds in the whole state that were open. North, Myrtle, North, North, South Carolina. See, don't the wheels look good? Now my Flintstone wheels look good. Now y'all see it makes all sense, right? Okay, this is looking so pretty. And there are places on this... Can on this um, the canvases, and I'll show y'all. You can see it here. See where they glued it together? It doesn't take the stain or the paint. But if you painted it solid, it probably would. But I think it's fine because I think it adds to the the rusticness of it. Okay. I'm just making sure I hadn't missed any spots. Because, you know, I'll get all finished and take pictures of it. And lo and behold, I'll see a spot in the picture. And I'm like, oh, are you kidding me? And that'll drive me bonkers. Oh, missed a spot there. But look how stinking cute. I don't think I'm going to paint this. And I don't think I'm going to paint these. What do y'all think? You have so many things you want to make. Tabitha, thing you need to make you a list. <laughs> and then you need to write down, like, who made it. Like, what... What creative person you saw make it? Yeah, God's going to see us three, Rexy, and that's what I keep saying. Okay, so let me show y'all the inside, how pretty those jumbo craft sticks look, how pretty that is. And so here's the bottom that I haven't painted. So I'm just going to quickly, quickly hit the high parts because knowing me, it'll show in the picture, and I'll be all obsessed over it because it shows in the picture. I'm going to just do the the edges with the rest of what I have left and I can paint it later. Okay. All right. So we'll just pretend like the bottom's painted. Look at my hands. <laughs> Let me get my baby wipes. Missed a spot in the back. Oh, I did. Thank you. Thank you. See? And I've looked it over three times and didn't see it, but yep, I did. I missed the whole back somehow a minute ago. I don't know what happened. I missed a lot. The whole underside of there, geez. Thank you for telling me. See, y'all help me. Okay, back's painted. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna paint the handles and the wheels. I think I'm gonna leave it just like it is, because I think it all kind of goes together with the wheels. <laughs> my my Flintstone wheels. Hey, Kelly, or Ka it's Callie. Okay. My hands are the same color as the wagon all over. All right. I'm gonna try to dry it without melting my glue. <laughs> Leave the wheels. See, I think so, too. I think I'm going to leave the wheels. Just going to kind of get it. You're making it for sure. I'm at least going to get the inside really dry because I want to put my stuff in it so y'all can see. I 
Yeah. Cheryl, they are in Georgia too. And see, I know Florida is too. I think Florida is really, um, is really full too because I, I keep seeing stuff about his, the governor of Florida. He was, um, he's a very outspoken man, but, <laughs> but he keeps, I see him in different places talking about it. What kind of heat gun? Just some generic one from Amazon. It's in my Amazon shop though. Only like eleven dollars, and it it works, and I've had it for a while. I'll paint the bottom later, right? I tell myself those kind of stories. Do y'all tell yourself those like, oh, I'll paint the bottom later, or I'll paint the back later? No, nope, never happens. But nobody's gonna see the bottom. It's like this, you don't see the bottom, right? See? All right, it's getting dry. I just don't want to get anything on my pumpkins. I'm going to put my hula skirt in there. <laughs> the hospitals are full in West Virginia, too. Ugh. I'm ready for this to go away. This is not how we're supposed to live. Yeah, absolutely. Give this a whirl. Because, I mean, it's canvases. Which you certainly, hopefully, can get the Dollar Tree canvases. And they're 8 by 10 um, And I use the big Jingle Blocks that I get from Five Below or Dollar General. Um, and a dowel and a little Jingle Block. And then I use wood slices for my wheels. But now, you use what you have. I use what I had. And I thought, this will add to the little rusticness of it. Your governor's not doing good about it in Florida. Yeah. I've seen some stuff about him. It's one spot will not dry. All right. But it turned out a pretty color. See, that's that's what it's going to look like all dried. It's really, it takes the, I wouldn't say orange. It's not a good word for it. But it tones that, the brown redness down out of it. But look at how cute. Now, who was to ever know that this, was Dollar Tree canvases just a little bit ago. <laughs> How cute. All right, so now, okay, so run down what I did, just in case you're needing to know. I used three eight by 10 Dollar Tree canvases, which you can use the smaller ones. I just didn't have three of the five by sevens or smaller. I only had three of the eight by 10, so that's what I went with. I used one, two, three, four, five, six, big of uh, big Jenga blocks, okay? I tried to make the little ones work and I couldn't. Um, and then I used some wood slices I had on hand already. I used uh, jumbo craft, super jumbo craft sticks from Walmart. And I know Dollar Tree carries them, but I can't never find the big ones. And those are on the bottom, across the bottom. They fit perfectly across. I didn't have to cut them. And yes, I'll paint the bottom later. I used a dowel. I used some of those little square blocks from the Dollar Tree that none of us know what to do with, but we all had to have them. <laughs> And then a little Jenga block and then just a dowel that I had. So now we're going to put some stuff in it. Okay, so I'm just, this is all I got in my hula skirt. So if I have to get up and run around in it, it's not going to cover very much. <laughs> yeah, Mississippi. Okay, so I'm just going to wad this up in it just for the pr practical purposes that we're going to put some cute stuff in it. And not sit here and cut all this because I'll have a hot mess on my table. Okay, so look how cute is that. All right, let's see. Where's my... Let's take these pumpkins. And I'm going to take them. These are the ones I made Sunday with, with uh, Lindy. And if you haven't seen this, uh, this was a few videos back on my page. Um, it's on YouTube as well. And we, I'm hoping I can undo this maybe. Okay, so we're going to pretend it's got a stem on it, okay? Because I didn't put a stem but on the top one. So I'm going to take it apart. Maybe. All right, we'll just pretend that that one, that string's not there. We'll put it under here. Like this. And then I just have some I pulled out of my fall stuff and make it all cute. <sighs> Look at this one. This one's kind of bright for all those colors going on. But then I have some candy corn made out of burlap. It's kind of like what we did the other day with the um, this candy corn. But I, this is out of burlap. I did these several years ago. 
but um, you could put some of them down in there. You could put, let's just pull off some sunflowers and poke down in here. And what else do I have? All my fall stuff is fall flowers is sitting over here. You could take just some little flowers and tuck down in here like this. Is this not the cutest little thing you've ever seen? <laughs> just poke it down in there and you just had this cute little wagon that we made from canvases. <laughs> and y'all saw it all come together. Look how stinking adorable is that. What is that hanging over? I keep saying, oh, it's that. Look at how cute. That is so cute. Can't y'all see it? Like with Christmas greenery and some, a snowman or just some goodies in there. Isn't this so cute? Look how stinking adorable. Let's see, let me find some more flowers that I got laying around over here somewhere that I can reach. Like this one's from Walmart. Just stick you some florals in there and you could just fill the whole entire thing up with florals. I don't like that piece. You could fill the whole thing up with florals if you wanted to. Put you some floral foam in the middle and just fill it up with nothing but florals. Um, oh, beads on the wheels. Y'all think I need to put the beads on the wheels? Thank you, Terry. Isn't this stinking adorable? Look how stinking cute. I'll show y'all the other side, even though that's not the showy side. I stuck all the flowers on the other side. But Walmart's got tons of cute florals for like 97 cents. You could put some floral foam. And just poke them all down in your floral foam and then put moss all around it. This would be so stinking cute in the middle of a table. You know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, change it out. Put greenery in it, pine combs. All that kind of stuff would be so cute. Oh, so you touched the mad face automatically. I mean, um, accidentally, you're all right. You're okay. Isn't this so stinking cute? Make you some pumpkins like we showed you how to make. And there is your little wagon. I forgot these don't have stems because we put that on top. <laughs> he just decided he wanted to bail out. He fell off the wagon and all the jute went with him. See, that's all connected because we had it as a topiary, but I wanted to take it apart. Oh, my sunflower heat sun went all down in there. Okay, get there. But y'all get the y'all get the idea. L Nicole, yes, lamb's ear for ninety seven cents. I love their lamb's ear. How pretty would that be with this full of lamb's ear, with a pumpkin that pumpkin topiary on top? Oh y'all, that would be so stinking pretty. Yes, Christmas with packages. Yes, look how stinking cute. Y'all can make this. I promise. You think it's just right? Me too. Me too. And you could go four tiers if you wanted to. You could go another one up and use the little bitty, uh, the Dollar Tree Jenga blocks and double them up. You might could do that and make it one one ring taller. Um, let's see. I mean, you could. You could try doing that and glue them together and make it another canvas taller. I only had three, so that's what I had to work with. Um, yes, Deb, it could. Thank you, Betty. Y'all are so sweet. Y'all helped me because y'all helped me how to glue this and that. And Oh, you missed a spot. <laughs> yes, Deborah, use those fla fabric flowers that I taught y'all how to make and do sunflowers and fill this thing full of sunflowers. So many options. Norny, yes, you got to watch. This was Dollar Tree canvases about an hour and 15 minutes ago. It started out as three canvases. <laughs> Catherine, I just made the wagon out of do three Dollar Tree canvases, eight by 10, and Jingle Blocks, and these wood slices. This is just the frames. Oh, lamb's ear and a cross and Easter eggs. Leslie, yes. And you could paint it white, and it would go for any holiday you would want, or paint it red, whatever you would want. But if you wanted it for every holiday, I would go neutral, of course, like brown or white or something like that. But red would be so stinking cute. Like in a kid's room, like up on a shelf in a kid's room, put a little teddy bear in it. Y'all, so cute. 
Oh, Barbara, yeah, you had to watch because it was three canvases just a few minutes ago. Well, about an hour and 15 minutes ago. Yep, put that on your list. Good night, Robin. Yes, it turned out so cute. I can't wait to take pictures with it. I may have to take them outside tomorrow. Easter eggs. Turned out stinking adorable. Y'all are so sweet. Yes, every holiday. Absolutely. I could fill it with all my little gnomes. And they can just ride around in the little Flintstone wheels. <laughs> now y'all know why it, why it makes sense with that, that I use these. Three. I do too, Pam. I think three is a good height too. That was... I think that's a good height. But if you wanted to do four and then you'd only had these, you could definitely do it. Cream. Tracy, that would be really pretty if you did like a cream off-white. That would be really, really pretty. Oh, Sandy's gone one step further. She's like, put lights in it. Yes, fairy lights. Yes, white and dry brush red. Absolutely. And you could put, you know, you could put something on each one of these rungs if you wanted to like how i showed y'all how to iron on the tissue paper or napkins you could do that too on this and do it buffalo check or something like that kelly said fill it with cupcakes for a birthday party oh that'd be so cute see now your wheels get turning and you're like oh my goodness we could do so much with this so it's not just like fall decor you could use this for everyday decor Strawberries, yes. The little strawberries, yes. That would be so cute. Gnomes in a wagon, BJ said. Gnomes in a wagon. <laughs> yes. Where is, I don't have one sitting nearby. But yes, so cute. I mean, you could put your, there's just so much you can do with this. Like here's my little, one of my little bead garlands. You could drape that over it, have that on your table. It's so stinking cute. What's the handle? The handle is the handle is these the little um, these little cubes from Dollar Tree that like I said we all buy and we don't know why we need them but I use them a lot um, one on each side and then I glued a dowel that I had in my stash that I literally dug it out because the one I had was too kind of dinky and then um, this is a small jenga block on the top I just glued it on the end. A scarecrow? Yes. I didn't, I haven't gotten all my fall stuff out yet, so I haven't dug into my scarecrows and all that stuff yet. Oh, Mary, you just hopped on? Yes, you gotta see this. This was three canvases a few, uh, about an hour and 15 minutes ago. Oh, Robin, a baby shower. That would be really stinking cute. Look at Bev's like Valentine's Day. So y'all are all like turning, the wheels are turning. So for not very much at all three five i don't know however many dollars if you had to buy it all i mean it's still under ten dollars but i had everything here but i had the three canvases or dollar the sticks which i'll use the rest of them for something else you know i had all of it but not very much at all and you've got this cute cute little centerpiece thing that you could use all year long and put stuff in and make it all cute Gnomes on a hay ride, Wendy said. Yeah, they had those little bales of hay at Dollar Tree. And you could line this up with hay and put little pumpkins. Um, the garland, the garland's just wood beads. 20 millimeter wood beads in jute, that's all it is. They're, they were stained like probably this color with a little black and the burnt umber. And then I just dry brushed white on them, that's all. Yes, I've been cutting pumpkins all day, Arnett. I'm cutting pumpkins, and I'm going to probably release them sometime this week, probably middle of the week. Um, I cut them all day today. My husband came in. He's been gone all weekend. He came in today, and he knew I had already sent out uh, the other bunch I had, and they were all lined up, all stacked on this table. He came in here and was like, holy moly, <laughs> you've been cutting some pumpkins. Yes, I'm still cutting pumpkins. Oh, what I use for the sides, Patsy asked. They're, that's just the canvas frames. And then I did the center, the inside, I supported it with the big Jenga blocks. Yeah, get on my texting up here. <laughs> See, I point over here because in, in the camera, it's, anyway, it's backwards. To me, it's backwards. Um, if you'll... Um, 
text join to that number you'll get on my text alert and I will alert you and tell you you know they're going when I'm gonna I also post it on the page but in case you don't see it because you don't always see everything that goes on on Facebook um, you'll get the text that comes to your phone that tells you when I'm gonna restock I am Jackie I am y'all know I don't quit until everybody's kind of like okay we got that now now what's next <laughs> um, Mary my shop um, is www somebody will drop the link in a second but it's turquoise dash valentine dot myshopify.com i know that's a lot <laughs> so yes it's so cute hey shirley you gotta watch the replay i just made this cute wagon <laughs> your brain is going to break bj just get you a little notebook and make all your notes of where you saw it, when you saw it, what day it was, so you'll know back, get, go back to what video and what, what creative made it, and the supplies and all that stuff. I mean, you don't know how to text the number. Uh, on your texting app on your phone, just go to your texting app and type in that number and then text the word join. But I also post it on the page, like when it's gonna go live. I post it in my group. Um, so if you uh, are in the group, yeah, join the group. Um, it doesn't cost anything. Um, gingerbread man, look, Rhonda's like, and after I put that up yesterday, I thought, yeah, I may not have showed them. Should have showed them the gingerbread man so early. But yeah, they'll come. They'll be coming out because I told y'all I'm gonna try to make a little Christmas all along until Christmas. Um, you're welcome, Leslie. Y'all are sweet. But, yeah, the gingerbread man will be coming soon. When the pumpkins kind of fade out, we'll start on something else. Paint sticks. You probably could use paint sticks if you cut them off that height and then instead of the Jenga blocks. Oh, you love... <laughs> you watch me on the big TV, BJ? Oh, my word. My, my face real big on your television. <laughs> Uh, Cody, I did the ho-ho-ho for Christmas in July, and I'm going to just start trying to filter in some Christmas from now until Christmas. And that way, it won't just be a big, you know, a big hoopla at the end. It'll just be a little here and there. So, I'm going to do, I'll do something next for Christmas, and I'll start doing that. And then we'll go, you know, do a little fall, do a little Christmas, do a little fall, a little Christmas so much you want to make it makes you dizzy Wendy. <laughs> oh me too there's there's not enough time in the day guys I promise especially with this laser I see so much cute stuff that I want to I want to cut and offer to y'all and all that but it's just um it's not enough time in the day it's not and it it's all so cute but um anyway Somebody says, I need a CD with all my videos. All of them are on YouTube as well. If you if you are on YouTube, all of them, I'll, I'll load this one up here shortly when they let me. I'll download it, and then I'll load it up there. So they all go there too. That way, they're all somewhere else, just in case you never know what ha what's going to happen. Um, plus, they're kind of in order. You, know, you can kind of see they're in order. I did them in order, and you can kind of just go down the list. Because I don't know why Facebook kind of made it hard for, them to fi for us to find them. <sighs> Alright guys, well I am going to hop off and take pictures of this cute wagon. And uh, I'm so glad y'all hung out with me tonight. Y'all showed out tonight. Y'all helped me because this was, uh, I was, I had it up here and it came out. So, um... Yes, thank y'all for telling Cherry. Yes, and they're easier to find because I, I get people ask me every day, like, where do I find this video? Where do I find this video? And they've made it hard to find for y'all on Facebook. All right, well, I'm going to hop off and take some pictures of this beauty, and I will see y'all Thursday. Today's Monday. I had to think about what day it was. So if I go to Dollar Tree tomorrow in the morning and we see a bunch of cute stuff, we may go live in Dollar Tree. I'm going to try. Oh, Betty's got me on the 55-inch TV. <laughs> um, 
Deborah, my Amazon, are you, if you're in the group, Deborah, um, then it's at the very top of that page in the group. It's pinned to that. And it's also on my website if you look at it on a desktop. On my phone, it cuts it off or something. It's not there. Okay, guys. I'm going to hop off. I will see y'all Thursday. Have a good week. Make a wagon. <laughs> I'll see y'all then. Night, guys. Be safe. Bye.